Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today I'm going to make concentrated grape juice. I've got like a five gallon pail of grapes frozen from last year. So this would be easier if they were fresh, but I just didn't have time last year. So let's get on it. Now, I just realized that this is going to be hell on my arthritis. So all I'm doing is picking out the biggest of the stems that I can, rinsing them off and throwing them in the pot. Why? Because they don't you take the st all the stems off when they're crushing them for wine, right? So I'm not going to put myself th through hell when I'm going to strain all the bits out anyway, right? So let's just get these rinsed in in the pot. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put just enough water in here so that I'll be able to crush them once they simmer. Remember, I'm making concentrate, okay? And that's all we need. I'm going to rinse the other box and put them in the stock pot as well. Okay, one thing I want to mention is because these stock pots are not heavy bottomed, this can scorch and I actually just want to cook it and bring it up to a simmer and simmer it for about 10 minutes. So I take one of these wire racks and I put it on my burner. See these feet? These little feet? I put it foot side up and that keeps the pot directly off the burner but also gives it enough heat to do the job. Now I have just enough water in here that you can see it and when you press the grapes down they might go under but these are still frozen right so like you can just see the water right there all right now i have these on in between medium and maximum on the trivets on the burner and i'm going to bring these up to a simmer while i get my food mill ready okay i can't find my food mill and it doesn't really matter because we're just straining these once they're cooked so I have a clean food grade bucket and I have a strainer whose handles will fit and support, be supported by the bucket and I've just lined them with several pieces of cheesecloth and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to strain it through that into the bucket. Now that these ones, oh they smell delicious, now that these are starting to simmer I'm just going to take a potato masher this is where the food mill, oops, sorry about the steam. This is where the food mill would come in handy, but I'm just going to just mash them down a little bit. This pot had less in it, so it's coming to a, uh, a simmer faster. This one had more in it, it's taking longer. Why? Because, well, they were frozen. So we'll just get these mashed down a little bit. And then, We'll let them simmer a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to take the first pot and I'm going to very slowly start straining. This is going to take some time. Okay, so out of a five gallon pail of grapes, I got a three gallon pail of grape juice. Let's can it. Okay, once again, I'm using my pressure canners as boiling bath canners. Why would you buy a boiling bath canning pot if you already have a pressure canner? Just keep the rack in the bottom and fill it up to the required amount of water. The only difference being is you don't put the lid on this and lock it down. That's all. Okay, I have five lids washed and rinsed and five jars washed, rinsed, and are baking in the oven at... 215 degrees for a minimum of 15 minutes. I have a bowl of organic sugar. Because I'm canning this as not concentrate, I'm just going to add a half a cup of sugar to each quart. Maybe even not a half a cup. Just enough to add some sugar to the acidity and to make it pleasant to drink. Now I've seen people make grape juice by putting one cup of sugar and one cup of grapes in a jar and then filling it up with boiling water and canning it like that and you just strain the grapes off later. Sorry, that's more water and sugar than grapes. This is at least nice and strong. I hope you can see okay. Let me move this back a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to take 
a jar out of the oven. Now I like to wash it and rinse them and lay them on their sides and that way it's easier to grab with the tongs. And I'm going to add a little under a half a cup of sugar. And it's organic sugar because I'm pretty sure these were organic grapes. Now I am filling these jars with room temperature or warm juice. I am not putting cold juice into the hot jars, but this isn't, but the juice is warm. I wouldn't put cold juice into a hot jar. If I was ladling hot juice into hot jars, you would only boil bath process it for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to do it just a little bit longer just because I want the juice to get up to the full temperature. Always, always, always wipe your rims. I'm going to cook the or process these just a little bit longer, maybe 20 minutes once they come to a boil, because I want to make sure they get a good solid seal. Okay, half inch from the top, folks. Half inch. Always, always wipe your rims and into the canner this goes. And when I have the canner filled, I'll be back. Now I got 11 quart jars. That works out to two and three quarter gallons. I still got a little bit left here, so I'm gonna add, a, add some sugar and try it just to make sure I've got the strength right. So I've just put a teaspoon of sugar in here and I'm just going to pour that little bit in there. And I think this is really strong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna double the water. Okay, so I just added some water because I think my juice is going to be really strong. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so when you open these jars, okay, if you follow this recipe, okay, you may want to add more water, like put it into a juice jug and add like another half a quarter water because this is beautiful. Mmm. I'm going to be enjoying that all winter long. I do not put my lids on these because it's not, I'm not using them as a pressure canner. I just put them on upside down to help keep the heat in while they come to a boil. Right now, while these come up to a boil, I'm going for a swim. It's 9.30 at night. It's 45 degrees Fahrenheit, but my pool is heated, and it's this reason and days like this that I need it the most. I'll see you when this stuff comes out of the canners. See this cloudiness? This is the calcium in my water. This is why I normally put vinegar in the pot. It makes the difference between this and this. See that? This is easily fixed after the fact by just vinegar and water on a rag. And it wipes it right off. Okay, one mistake I made, because I've never actually made grape juice and canned it before, is I should have stirred or shook the sugar up. So I may have to replace it when I open this bottle, or I may have to stir it. I don't know. It depends on how hard that sugar is on the bottom. So stir your, or shake up your juice, um... To mix the sugar in. Yeah, I'm really, I'm in a lot of pain this morning. Um, it's Sunday. I'm going to take the day off, I think. This is the Mrs. Volfi from our Half Acre Homestead saying, get a five-gallon bucket of grapes given to you. Make grape juice if you don't want to make grape jelly. Take care. God bless.